Hey, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor A. Horner and I am Solution Architect for several Microsoft technologies. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe my channel to stay up to date. Thank you very much and enjoy this video. In this video I will demonstrate how to create an Azure Automation account for Exchange Online Management, how to assign permissions to Azure Automation account, how to add Exchange Online Management module, how to test Azure Automation account. Go to portal.azure.com and search for Automation account. Select Automation account. Now we are going to start a new creation. So select Create Automation Account. Creation Wizard will guide you through the whole creation process. First, select Subscription and Resource Group. You can also create a new resource group if you don't have one. Enter the name for Automation Account the region where account is running on. In our case, it does not matter where the account is because we are going to manage Exchange Online. Switch to Advanced tab and make sure that System Assigned Property is enabled. This will enable Managed Identity function for this automation account. Review your settings before creation. Complete the creation by hitting Create button. The deployment process of Azure Automation Account is taking some time like every deployment in Azure. You can see the status of deployment progress. You can monitor the deployment process in deployment details. After deployment is completed, you can switch to the account by hitting Go to Resource button. Now we need to enable Exchange Online Management PowerShell module for our Azure Automation account to be able to manage Exchange Online. Select Modules in the Navigation pane at the left. Search for Exchange Online Management. If you don't have Exchange Online Management available, just hit Add Module button. Browse through the gallery for Exchange Online Management. Select the recommended version. Finish the installation by clicking Import button. The import of Exchange Online Management module may take a while, depends on the amount of workload in the Azure. After the import will be finished, the status of module will change to available. In the next step, we are going to assign Exchange Administrative permissions to my Azure Automation account. Go to Azure Portal and select Microsoft Entra ID. Navigate to Roles and Administrators. In the Roles selection, search for Exchange Administrator. You can also select Exchange Recipient Administrator. This role will give you a possibility to manage only Exchange objects, but you cannot change Exchange configuration. After you have selected the right role, click on Add Assignments. Look for your Azure Automation account and select it. Complete Assignment with Add button. Now the system will assign desired permissions for you Azure Automation account. This step may take a while. You need to wait until the assignment will appear. After the assignment is completed, we can test our Azure Automation account by creating an Azure Runbook and run it directly from Azure Portal. Go to your Automation account and select Runbooks. Click on Create a Runbook. Configure the name of your Runbook so that you can identify it later. As Runbook type, select PowerShell. Exchange Online is supporting only PowerShell, so this is the only valid option. Select Recommended Runtime Version and enter a valid description. I will create a Runbook for changing default mailbox language and rename all folders to default language in Austria. After Runbook validation has completed, you can start to create your Runbook. At the beginning of every runbook, you need to connect to Exchange Online first. If you remember, we have enabled Azure Automation Account as Managed Identity. This feature enables unattended access to Exchange Online by using Enterprise Registration. So simply use Managed Identity property of Connect Exchange Online method and add the name of your organization. Exchange Online Management Shell will try to connect to your organization by using Managed Identity. You can only use this feature in a runbook. If you try to connect to Exchange Online by using Managed Identity from your computer, it will simply fail. You can test connectivity to Exchange Online by simply running a command with an output like Get Exchange Server. 
I am going to run a script without any output. The only way to monitor if the script was successful is to check if you had any errors or warnings during the script was running. Save your runbook and publish it. Now you can run the runbook by using Start button. You can monitor the status of your runbook. At the beginning of the run, the status is switching to queued. Wait until the status is turned to completed. If you have a script with an output, simply switch between tabs and you will see the output of your screen. If your script run in any errors, you can find them in the errors log. Be aware that Azure Automation is not supporting any custom output like Writehost. Thank you very much for watching this video. Visit my blog and don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel.